Hello, everyone. 大家好 Welcome to Cantonese to Go. 欢迎收听广东话外卖 My name is Yuki Webster. I'm the host of this channel. Next week, Friday is Chinese New Year. It's a year of ox. How much do you know about the size of Chinese zodiac? In Cantonese, we call it Sang Tiu. In this and the next episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about Chinese zodiac, about how people prepare and celebrate the Chinese New Year, and what Cantonese phrases you need to learn before the festival. Also, what should you avoid in front of the Chinese friends during the New Year? According to the lunar calendar, the Chinese New Year in two thousand twenty-one. Is on the twelfth of February. It's a year of ox. In the Chinese zodiac, there are twelve animal signs assigned in a twelve-year cycle. They are red, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog. And pig. Each zodiac has its own personality. For example, people were born in the year of ox are believed to be hard workers, and have a strong sense of responsibility. They usually quiet and keep their emotions inside. To each animal sign, there's a best match and an incompatible match. It means some signs can be compatible, but some may not get along well with each other. It plays an important role in a marriage match. Each zodiac has its own fortune. Perhaps some have a better luck in the winter than in the summer. The others will have to be careful of their health in a particular month. To me. I read the Chinese zodiac every year before the year start, but I have always forgotten what I have to be careful of in a few days. Well, it's nice to just remember the good things are coming. It helps in generating positive energy. Here's how we call the years in Cantonese: the year of ox, ngao nin; year of tiger. Fu Nin, Year of Rabbit, Tou Nin, Year of Dragon, Long Nin, Year of Snake, Se Nin, Year of Horse, Ma Nin, Year of Goat, Yang Nin, Year of Monkey, Hao Nin, Year of Rooster, Gai Nin, Year of Dog. Gao Nin, Year of Pig, Ju Nin, Year of Rat, Su Nin. The people who were born in the year of Ox, we call them Ngao Nin Chu Sai. They are oxen, so Ngao. I was born in the year of Dog. Ngao Hai Gao Nin Chu Sai. I'm one of the dogs. Ngao So Gao. To find out which zodiac sign you are, count the signs and repeat every twelve years. This year is the year of ox. People who were born twelve years ago, which is in two thousand and nine, they are also one of the oxen. It's the same for the people who were born twenty-four years ago in nineteen ninety-seven, and thirty-six years ago in nineteen eighty-five. All right, I leave the maths to you. Now we are moving on to the grand celebration of Chinese New Year. Because the Chinese New Year is the biggest event of the year, we usually celebrate for three days. In Hong Kong, we have three days public holiday. If one of the days falls on Sunday, we will get the following Monday as a public holiday. To prepare for the New Year. There are a few things we always do. 
Number one, we clean our house completely. I mean completely. In Cantonese, we call it "dai sou chou." We clean out the old clothes which we don't wear anymore, the toys we don't play for a long time. We even move the furniture away from the wall so that we can get all the dust out. We prepare a nice and clean environment for the new year. If you live in a Chinese community, you may also hear people say "chou gao yin san," which means to get rid of the old stuff from the past. Which made you upset, and welcome to the new stuff. People will buy the new stuff to replace the old ones before the new year. Number two, there's a Cantonese saying, "Nin ya ba, sai la ta." Nin ya ba means the twenty eighth day of the month before the new year. However, sometimes we only have twenty eight days in a month. According to lunar calendar, so we simplify the meaning to one to two days before the new year. Saila ta means to wash the dirt and bad luck away. After cleaning the house, we use a bunch of pomelo leaves to clean out the bad luck of the house. People dip the leaves in a bucket of water and shake it on every corner and furniture of the house. From the end room of the house to the front door, in order to wash the bad luck away from the last year. My grandmother used to boil the pomelo leaves in a big pot for twenty minutes, and pour the water over the body after shower, to wash the bad luck away from the body. She said it was a tradition. Number three. We decorate the house with flowers and plants. We buy blooming flowers and wish for a prosperous new year. Branches of peach blossoms, plum blossoms, orchid, narcissus, or water fairy flowers are very popular in Hong Kong. Some flowers bring baby luck to the married couples. Others bring peace to the household. Basically, decorating the house with blooming flowers. Brighten up the living room, and gives a freshness to the house for a fresh start. Before the pandemic, there are flower markets in every district in Hong Kong. Flower markets in Cantonese is Fa Si. They open about a week before the Chinese New Year. Many families go to the flower markets after their evening meals to get their New Year decorations. We call this activity "hang fa si." Number four, ti fai chen. Decorating the house with some lucky messages written on the red banners. Ti literally means to grow, to paste. Fai chen means the messages on the red banners. The messages are to wish good luck and prosperity. Above the door, we always have "chu ya ping on" to wish for a safe trip. In the living room, we have different kinds of messages. Here are some examples: "man si yu yi" to wish for everything goes as you wish, all the best and success. "say guai ping on." To wish for peace in four seasons, less arguments in the household, and everyone is healthy and sound. At the stores or little shops, they will have "san yi heng long," to wish for prosperity for the business, more customers coming into the shops. "nin nin yao yu," to wish for profits every year. Sometimes we'll see red banners on both sides of the gate or the main door. We put them up for the new year. We call them Chun Nun. The messages on the red banners are also to wish for a healthy year with plenty of good luck and prosperity. They usually come in two sentences.
the first sentence put on the left side of the door, the second one put on the right side. They are created with special structure and tone combination. Number five, gathering with family. Before the Chinese New Year, family members gather for an evening meal. We call this dinner "tu nian fan" or "nian ye fan." In tradition, we have the dinner in the evening before the New Year Day. It's important to have this meal because it means the domestic harmony and happiness of the family. This meal usually includes everything from fish, chicken, roast pork, vegetables to soup, dim sum, Chinese desserts, and fruits. So here are five things the Cantonese always do before the Chinese New Year. If you know other activities your Cantonese friends and family do before the New Year, share with us in the comment area below. In the next episode. We'll talk about how the Hong Kong people celebrate the Chinese New Year and what you need to avoid during the celebration time. Okay, now it's time for me to prepare for the New Year. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next one.